<clears throat> hey guys, it's Eric, and I have arrived back in my apartment in Belgrade. That was easy. Um, so I'm happy to report that the border is really open as as usual, and there was no there was no sort of check of my status as a foreigner, no check of my residence permit, no, just like it always was, basically. So I took Wizz Air from Luton, and um, yeah, that was. There was, yeah, masks were required on board, that was very clear, and um, yeah, they were handing out little sanitary wipes, but the plane was pretty full, and it wasn't that great at, the people weren't that great at social dist distancing, but the the crew was nice, and it was a good vibe on the crew, and they didn't temperature check before getting on the plane, nor on arrival in Belgrade, so yeah. No temperature check, <laughs> no visa check, no special status required. Serbia is open for tourism and everything was normal. It wasn't clear whether the A bus was running or the 72 or anything. I didn't stick around to find that out. I just took a taxi, which costs 1800 dinars and I tipped 200, you know, because the guy was super easy and fast in getting me home. No quarantine, no health screening, just normal entering Serbia sort of stuff. But I'm happy to say that all of the people at the Serbian airport who are working there are wearing masks. Now, on the street of Belgrade as well, seems like a lot of people are wearing masks, especially old people. But um, I think I'm going to follow the protocol I did in Thailand. Before I go in a store, I'm going to put on a mask and hand sanitize my hands. And that's how we protect from the spread of this place in places like stores. Going down the street, I'll just try to keep my distance from people. And... Um, yeah, basically, what did I not cover? I mean, basically, the news is you can fly from London Luton as normal, apart from you have to wear a mask. And that's pretty much it, and social distance at the airport. I mean, so I hope this helps, folks. Um, you know, it doesn't seem like they're checking that much or, or anything abnormal or anything they were checking last week is now not a thing as they announced it would not be. And they announced they were going to give out some information. I didn't get any. I did see a sheet there. I guess I could have taken one. I don't know. Yeah, um, there were people who were camped out at Luton Airport the night before. I saw when I arrived at 5 a.m., 5.30 a.m. for the flight. Um, I managed to stay in a, in a place nearby called SPI Dumfries that I found on Booking.com, which had an apartment. Otherwise, the places were sort of reserved for workers, I think, essential workers and normal people who couldn't stay there. But um, whatever, I got through London. I traveled for like 72 hours. Oh my God, I'm so tired. Um, no, 40, sorry, it was 48 hours. I can't even remember how long I was traveling. It was Saturday in Thailand that I left and now it's Monday in Belgrade, 48 hours, yeah. So that's it, folks. Enjoy, come to Serbia. If there's anything else I didn't cover in this video that you want to know, get in the comments. I'll be watching them today and tomorrow for sure. And I'm going to make videos on how Serbia has changed. You know, from my perspective being away for two and a half months. Thanks a lot, guys. This has been Belgrade Beat back in Belgrade. <laughs> Great.